Now, it's been more than three months since Kenya introduced the ban on all plastic carrier bags and the manufacturing industry is feeling the ripple effects. While many plastic manufacturing companies closed shop weeks after the ban, for one man, the move may have breathed new life into his business. Timothy Otenu spent a day with Dr. Oscar Agan, who uses the plastic carrier bags still in circulation to make building material. Welcome to a world where garbage is gold. Here at the Continental Renewable Energy Company, plastic waste, including the recently banned plastic carrier bags, are offering solutions to Kenya's construction industry. Because I already have a substitute for plastic. Dr. Oscar Agan, who started the commercial business back in 2013, uses plastic waste to make such poles that can be used during construction and even for street lighting purposes. The process begins by crushing the plastic waste using this industrial crusher. What remains of the plastic material is then added to a mixture that contains a bit of sand. The materials are then loaded onto this machine that molds the mixture, resulting into this. Poles made out of plastic bags and other wastes that vary in density and size depending on the need. An advantage that termites don't eat them, they don't rot, and it's difficult to burn them, and they cannot be vandalized for firewood, which is common with the, with the, other, timber, with the other timber products. The process, which takes about 20 minutes per pole, has these employees making about 100 poles a day. And now the method is not only providing cheaper, more reliable and environmentally friendly tools of construction, but is also a source of employment for many youth in Kariobangi, where one of the factories is based. Musioka Kilonzi, who has been working here since April this year, admits that the factory has been a source of hope to many. In a side do these plastics they can't give. They can't, uh, I mean, rot. The factory pays up to 10,000 shillings per every ton of plastic brought here for recycling. It's very tough, yes. And it's not only poles that are produced. The same process, identified as resin, has its mixture smelted to produce even roofing tiles. Now, the advantage of this is that uh, it lasts for a very long time. I'll give you about a 40-year warranty on it. And uh, the thing is that uh, it doesn't burn. There is a fire retardant element in it. And even if you pour super petrol in it, it will not catch fire. It will not burn. And it doesn't break either. And all this from plastic? From waste, from your waste garbage. Uh, the concept here is to house Africans use affordably using their garbage. It is just one of the many eco-friendly solutions emerging from the ban on plastic carrier bags, which even formed the basis of a three-day conference by the United Nations Environment Assembly, which resolved to increase funding for research and development of such solutions. Plastic itself is not a problem. It's the way Kenyans dispose of plastic that is a problem. So I think a lot more focus should be on the way plastic is disposed, as opposed to burning the end product, because we can see this is the solution for construction. And it's a solution to building that is coming from our own hands. So for Dr. Oscar Agan and his team who engage in the business of manufacturing, their main form of currency is garbage and waste, most of which are plastic, ranging from plastic bottles such as these ones and even plastic carrier bags that were recently banned by the government, which they use to make building material all in an effort to ensure that Kenya's future is more eco-friendly. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.